Arguably the most important and challenging facet of self-driving cars is the software that makes them run. This has to take in all of the data from the sensors and GPS, and even things like traffic and weather conditions, and make decisions based on that. It determines how to steer, stop, and go, and everything else involved in getting you from point A to point B. But of course, this technology isn't perfect, and inevitably these cars will be put in a situation where a crash is unavoidable. And in some cases, the car will have to choose between two evils, like crashing into pedestrians or putting the car's passenger at risk. In that case, what should it do? In a study, researchers found that most people would rather the car sacrifice the passengers for the common good. That said, these same people would rather ride in a car that protected its passengers instead. So there's a bit of an issue here, because what these people want self-driving cars to be like isn't what they would want themselves. 